Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Callie's Tech Time. Today, we're going to be discussing how to use the Gaomon S620 tablet within Osu. So, if you are in the market for a new tablet to play this game with, look no further than Gaomon's S620. Get it on Amazon for about $30. A link to which is in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this tablet. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Gaomon.net website, which is also in the description for this tablet. You're going to want to go down to the driver download section. Now, this video is specifically for Windows. If you have Mac, I'm sure the instructions are similar. As I do not use a Macintosh computer, I cannot specifically say this will work for you. So, download the Windows driver here, 16.0.0.20, or whichever one is newest at the time of viewing of this video. I'm just going to want to download that and install it. Okay, great. You did that. Awesome. So the program's going to open. It will look like this. So, you will have your pen, it will have two buttons here. I took this one and made it no function, because I did not want to have anything happen with this one. I made this one the mouse left click. You're going to want to do that for one specific reason. Uh, after you change the settings down here. So you're going to want to disable Windows Ink and disable the nib. So your bottom button should look like this. Now when you take your pen and put it on the tablet, obviously to play Osu correctly, you want to have it to where you can push down with your pen, but then use a keyboard stroke to hit the circle on the screen. So this way, since this is the mouse left click button, when I press that in, it allows you to act like you're pressing a mouse button. And when you don't press it, it doesn't happen. This is very important, because in Osu, you can then take hold that button and scroll up and down the screen through your song list without having to use your mouse. It's a nice little feature. It works great. So I would recommend that. So once you've set your screen up here correctly, you're going to want to go to the next screen over here. Click Workspace. Now I use my right monitor to play Osu with. It's my gaming monitor. You're going to want to send a square that uh, is whatever size you feel is appropriate. Um, this size works pretty well for me. I'm actually going to resize it just a small bit. But uh, obviously check the part of your screen where you're going to have your hand resting and I'd adjust this appropriately down. Okay? Take all the time you need for this. It's probably going to be some trial and error. However, once you get it to where it is working appropriately, you will be much happier with your experience. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up OS. Just like this. You want to click here. You want to go to Options. From here, I always have the music turned down so we could uh, discuss this. Go to Input. Now, the fastest way to do this... So let's say that you have it up here. I think it's like 3 by default. If you uncheck Raw Input and then check it again, it's going to automatically set it to 1. So this is the best way to get consistent movement. Let me put my pen on the screen here so you guys can see. So, as you can see, in that small area, I'm able to move around the screen freely. And is that without using the mouse, I'm able to click around the screen just fine. So, that's all you have to do. That's literally it. And then you can play and enjoy the game however you would like. So, thanks for watching my video. If this information was helpful to you, please consider liking, subscribing, and following me on twitch.tv slash Chronicles, where I livestream all the time, and I will see you guys next time.